the types of signals first. Right. So just to look at the types of signals, the first classification of signals happens on, happens that depends upon the time axis. So how the time axis is written and represented, depending on that, we write the first type of classification of signal. This is called as continuous or the other class is called as discrete. Discrete signals. One is a continuous signal, another one will be a discrete signal. All right. Now, just to look at, we'll, we'll, we'll see that as a difference. On this side, I'll write the continuous. This is continuous signal. I'll write the points corresponding to discrete on the other side. Okay, this is discrete signals. Right. So, for example, uh, let let me draw the their representation first, so that it becomes easier for us to remember. So, if I want to write a continuous signal, right, the normal representation here is x of t versus t. Simply, we'll draw something like this. This is what is called as a continuous signal. At the same time, if I want to draw a discrete signal, I'll see the difference in the notation. This is x of n versus n. And I'm going to draw like this. See, the values are discretely located. It's not continuous like previous one. Continuously, I plot it. But here I'm going to plot it discreetly. So discrete values could be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Right? At this is the representation. Anyway, I'll, I'll define 